Welcome back beer tubers. Today we're going to take a look at the 2014 edition of Sierra Nevada's Narwhal Imperial Stout. This was uh, kindly given to me. I actually got a four pack from my buddy Brad and uh, I figured I'd review one relatively fresh. This was packaged uh, at the end of July and then I'll try to review one a year and, and you know see how the beer ages. Uh, it's a 10.2% Imperial Stout so it's a big beer. And one thing that's interesting on uh, this bottle is it's Sierra Nevada Brewing Company, Chico, California, and Mills River, North Carolina. So with the new brewery open up in North Carolina, some of you might be getting uh, this beer brewed there. I don't know uh, how much they're brewing there, but I assume they're working up to full capacity. Uh, got this beer poured out. It's dark black. I've, I've uh, had a few samples of this beer, but never an entire bottle, so I'm looking forward to checking it out. Some alcohol legs. Uh, nice just kind of brown head sticking around on there. I've heard that it's kind of hoppy and hot fresh but it ages really nicely and they've uh, they've won at least a couple medals with this beer, one being the regular version and a, a GABF I should say and then the barrel aged version did well so let's get the aroma on it. Oh yeah definitely a lot of hop character. Earthy, we get some slight like darker kind of dank citrus notes to it. A lot of roast, dark fruits are certainly prominent in there as well. And it kind of has a, a burnt coffee roastiness to it. A little bit of like a sweeter chocolate that kind of mixes in with a, a, a sort of generic dark fruit, sort of yeast ester-ish, maybe darker crystal malt character. Some breadiness in there. Maybe a hint of caramel coming through, but really not a lot. I think the uh, the roast character and the hops are kind of the most prominent aromas on the beer. It actually doesn't really smell overly boozy at all for, for being just over 10%. So that's a good sign. Let's dig in. Cheers. Yeah, it's actually, it's, it's fairly smooth. Um, on the finish, you pick up a little bit of alcohol heat, but yeah, hoppy, dry, roasty beer is kind of my initial impression, but there is some sweetness to it. Up front, I get a good amount of bitterness from the hops. Um, there's a, a spicy, earthy, sort of dank, slight citrus tone to the beer. I didn't look up to see what ingredients they're using, but um, definitely get a good amount of hop character up front. Definitely puts it into a Russian Imperial Stout type of category with the amount of hop character that's on there. Uh, a good amount of hop character that kind of reminds me of Stone's IRS that has a good amount of hop character fresh. This one does too. Uh, Victory Storm King kind of has a similar amount of hop character up front. Uh, I wouldn't say it's as much hop character as, as their Bigfoot barley wine, but um, a good amount of hops. And then it goes into the sweetness of the beer. The heart of the beer has like a sweet bread, nice just dark fruit that, that kind of borderlines um, like a fig-like note and, a, and a, like a blackberry-ish kind of note. It has a just that, that darker fruit kind of mix of berry and you know that not quite raisin, not quite fig sort of character. And then the finish goes into uh, a sort of semi-sweet, slightly bitter chocolate, and then a big, roasty, slightly almost smoky finish with the roasted malt, and, and it kind of really dries out the beer on the finish. Drinking on some more, you pick up almost a, it almost goes black licorice, but I'm actually going to go with red vine, it, <laughs> which is kind of weird, but I, I've gotten it on some beers. It's like a, a red vine. It has this sweet, sort of like red berry note but then you kind of get that licorice -y kind of character. Uh, picking that up on uh, towards the end of the, the beer, right before the finish, it has this big, kind of adds with the, uh, the red berry, kind of adds with the darker kind of berry fruit note to it. I do get some alcohol in the finish, but it's a very pleasant alcohol flavor. It lets you know it's a big beer. Doesn't get in the way of the other flavors. Isn't overly warming or fusel, you know, going down the throat. You actually don't really feel any kind of burn sensation just a you know a, a, an alcohol kick at the finish so yeah this is a really nice beer uh, it's um, maybe not as chocolatey as I thought it was gonna be 
Um, but it definitely has this big fruitiness, this roast character, and then a hoppiness. So I'll be really curious to see how this beer ages with more time and hopefully I'll do a review a year from when I do this. The, the package on date is July 31st, so maybe I'll try to shoot for that next year, July 31st, around that time, 2015, and get a follow-up review on Narwhal to see how it's aging. Definitely one of the cooler names and labels that Sierra Nevada's done, and just beers in general. Uh, Narwhal being the unicorn of the sea. So let's go wrap this one up. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.